Hi guys, let's talk about Kaja or hmm, Kaha. Anyway, I'll pronounce him Kaja for now because it sounds cooler. So, on paper, Kaja's skills seem so weak and dull and boring. Like his passive, just an increased move speed when he gets hit, then his skill one where he just releases a ring around him that damages enemies. Plus, the animation is so lame. His skill 2 also, just a generic dash skill, slight delay on execution. Granted, it gives shield and double dash when you use it on allied unit, but meh. And his ult, well, he just drags enemies. If you look at it based on descriptions and look alone, well, he seems a pretty lame hero, and that's what I thought too. But I became intrigued in him, so I bought him, tried him, even played him in rank games. And girl, what a nice hero he is! So, what makes Kaja a powerful support tank hero? Number 1. He clears minion waves fast. Even if you build him full tank, his skill 1 still deals decent damage and can clear waves and jungle pretty fast compared to other tanks. Number 2. He can easily harass enemies early game. Kaja is more of a magic type of fighter for me. Use your skill 1 then dive into enemy 1 vs 1 and he'll have a hard time dealing with you. Number 3 <laughs> His passive is so useful you can escape from death most of the time. His passive skill negates slow from enemies plus giving you extra move speed that can easily outrun your enemies. Number 4 his ultimate, while it seems so lame, is so useful when used right. It's like Franco's hook but different way of aiming. Dragging a poor enemy hero into your team is like bringing food for the family. What a nice daddy. Lastly, number 5 is a whip wielding Belmont. His fast deals constant damage all the while being tanky. So with that, I leave you with the gameplay of Kaja and I hope more people will respect Kaja Belmont after this video. Thanks for watching! See you soon! You have slain an enemy! Double kill! Double kill! Your team destroyed a turret! Killing spree! An enemy has been slain! Unstoppable!
victory!